Hey, what's up everybody? Quick um, quick update. I just, uh, as usual, been crazy busy and doing some travel, so I haven't had a chance to jump on here, but I uh, just wanted to share some thoughts that I had today. Um, one really cool thing, I, I read a couple articles about some recent discoveries uh, confirming the existence of the Philistines and their genetic makeup and where they uh, migrated from and all kinds of stuff. I posted that on Twitter if you want to check it out. Really cool article, but the thing that hit me is just how many discoveries in the past, um, I don't know, definitely the past 20 years, but even more so the past two or three years. It seems like every time you turn around, there's another discovery confirming something in the Bible. And not that we need something to confirm the Bible. We trust it implicitly, but what's unique is for the critics who say that the Bible is myth or allegory or legend and that kind of thing. It's just funny that uh, every time a, a shovel digs up some dirt in the Mideast, it, it proves the opposite, that the Bible is an accurate historical record. Um, so, which is not typical of other ancient documents at the same time period. You know, those, those documents have long since been disproven and, and the history involved is inaccurate and that kind of thing. But anyway, just a cool thing. One of those evidences for the Christian faith that supports the Bible and shows that it's true. Um, so that's encouraging. And I also think here in the end times, that's ramping up just from, from the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1947, just before uh, Israel became a nation again, to now there's just been dozens or scores of just concrete biblical evidence supporting uh, the biblical narrative. So, so that's one thing I've been thinking about. Another thing I, that the Lord's really been uh, working on me on and, and just really kind of been using in my life right now is the study that I'm doing for book number three. I'm, I'm Book two is about to launch. That's on the book of Revelation. But I'm in the meantime, I'm writing book three, which is the Nonprofit's Guide to Spiritual Warfare. And of course, there's a chapter at the end of it where it's about spiritual warfare in the end times. But everything in the rest of the book builds up to that. Like, why are things the way they are? What are things going to be like in the tribulation period? How does that connect with the initial fall of Satan and God's initial creation? And Genesis 3.15 and Genesis 6 and all there's all kinds of stuff tied in there that uh, honestly when I started first started writing the book I wasn't intending it to really be eschat eschatological in nature like I wasn't wanting it to be an end times book I knew I'd have a chapter in it about the end times but what's blowing me away is how uh, intricately tied in um, Bible prophecy is with uh, spiritual warfare. When you study spiritual warfare from cover to cover, it's just naturally going to bump into Bible prophecy. So uh, that's really been really interesting. Like I'm learning, I'm learning stuff that I either suspected but didn't know for sure, and, and just hadn't had time to study, or I'm bumping into stuff that I just didn't even see. And I've it's it's texts that I've studied tons of times before, just in a different from a different angle. So anyway, that's really interesting and. One of the things that that's got me thinking about is just the the political upheaval here in the states, but also all over the world. You know, I, um, if you do a quick, you know, Google search for you know what's going on around the world with um, governments collapsing or you know there being conflict or civil war or uprisings and that kind of thing, it's happening all over the place. Um, but one thing in particular with the division that we find here in America is, I think, and especially because I'm studying this topic right now, and this is where I want to encourage you and, and encourage you to look at the the political upheaval in our country and around the world in a different light. You know, when we look, when we think it's just political, you know, left versus right, Democrats versus Republican, you know, whatever it's easy t for us in the physical realm to be just divided and people, you know, just hating each other and, and being really mean and nasty and that kind of thing. But one of the things that I've, I've always known, but I'm, I'm seeing it more clearly now that I'm doing this, um, spiritual warfare study is that really what's behind all of that is, is spiritual warfare. And it's not, necessarily left versus right. I mean, there, there's definitely some of that. There's, you know, 
we need to think biblically in terms of our positions. We need to think biblically, you know, obviously the Bible stands for the protection of life and um, God is a national nationalist. That's one, one chapter in the book. I, I talk about the Tower of Babel and how God is the one that separated people into nations to keep there from being a global government. And that's what's going to happen in the end times is there'll be a one world government ruled by one dictator and we're fallen human beings. So obviously that's not going to go well. Uh, but anyway, so there are positions like that that we can take and should pay attention to and that sort of thing. But at its heart, it's really spiritual warfare behind the scenes. You know, the, the enemy is trying to cause as much division and discord and strife around the world as he can because the hour is late, because the, the time is soon for the Lord to return. And I believe the world's going to be in such chaos when the rapture occurs that the world's going to be screaming for somebody to stand up and kind of take control and make sense of everything and bring order out of chaos and all that kind of stuff. So, so anyway, as you, as you turn on the news feed or hear news or, or think about politics and that kind of stuff, I just want to encourage you as a believer to know that though everyone's freaking out because of what's happening in our realm, really what's behind it is an end times spiritual warfare. So keep that in mind. Don't let it shake you. Don't let it rattle you. Just live out your faith. You know, be confident that the Lord is, has you right where he's, he wants you that he's, uh, he's got you here at this time in history for a specific purpose and, uh, not to, not to let it rattle your cage. Just do your thing. Trust the Lord. You know, I think of Psalm 23 where it says he makes a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Even though everything crazy is going on around us, we can have peace sitting at the Lord's table. And of course that ties with, uh, the Lord's table when Jesus, you know, when it represents Jesus's blood and and his body broken for us. So just something to think about. Just wanted to encourage you there. Encourage you there. Um, lots of other updates. Please um, follow my Twitter account. Uh, it's at T Hampson. And um, that way you can stay up to date with just quick stuff I'll send out. And a lot of times I'll highlight that when I do these updates. But it's easier to kind of get daily updates there. But follow me on Twitter. Um, please like this video. Please share it. I'm trying to grow this tribe just so I can um, share more information with people and, and get the word out there about Bible prophecy and how we should live in the end times. So thanks. Talk to you soon.